Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the best... I'm going to be showing you guys the best start of the world method. Obviously, there's literally so much that's been added this season. I'll go over the change logs later in the video. But for now, I'm just going to show you some of the new enchants. They include Blessed. Blessed is one that says it gives you crystals and gems while mining. And then they added Meteorite, which I, I thought that was the same thing, but it's actually Meteor and Meteorite. So Meteorite's a new one. And this means Meteor will non-stop explode onto the mine until the timer resets. So it's like a set timer for Meteors to automatically go. Then Quiver will rain arrows onto the mine that will explode after three seconds so that's probably i feel like that would be a, like, a little bit weird but i don't know and then wild wither has it about has the ability to spawn a wither that fires explosive wither skulls onto the mine also there's new crystal enchants these are a completely new thing so for crystals you can get arctic destroyer which it says it'll snow and rain onto the mine and explode a few seconds later and then this one's zeus which is really cool i feel like and it's gonna send multiple thunder strikes and it creates explosion which will give you tokens and rewards and this one's causes an iceberg to crash onto the mine called freeze gorge i think my favorite one's Zeus, probably that that sounds really cool. So those are pretty much all the new enchants. Also, I have a few contraband crates I'm gonna be open for you. I have six contraband crates. Also, I think they automatically open, they don't actually do an animation anymore, which I think that's just to like help with the lag. Also, just got a pet egg, so let's open this locksmith pet. That's pretty bad. So just gonna put that in our inventory. Let's open another one real quick. We got a trillion tokens, another trillion tokens, and we got a legacy rank as well. For that one, we just got nine mythical keys. And this last one, let's see what we get the last one. We got seven mythical keys from the last one. It's kind of awful. Okay, let's open one of these crates real quick, see what we can get from these crates. Also, I want to I want to show you one thing. They added slash redeem space Derpy Murloc. It gives you free five loot crates. I already redeemed it, but if you redeem it for you, don't even have to redeem it to me. You can like if Jerome or Mizo is your favorite one. You can redeem it for them. But hey, if you want to support me, if you feel like my videos, just hop on this server do slash redeem space Derpy Murloc. That'll give you five free loot crates if you want to. Also, there's these new things called grenades. I want to show you what this does. It pretty much explodes the mine. Literally, look how much damage that did. It got my mine leveled up to like three different levels. I'm gonna throw another one on here, see how much damage it does. It really did no damage because it missed. I don't know how it missed. Also, you now get pouches. Pouches actually give rewards when you break 1k blocks. So pretty much now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the best pickaxe whenever you're starting on the save the world. So I'd say the first thing you probably want to do would be go ahead and get either some part of these two. I think the first ones you should get is token miner and XP finder. This will help you get your mine bigger for the XP finder. It'll help you mine, it'll help you level up your pickaxe and your mine faster. As well as token miner is really necessary. It helps you get tokens faster as well and then maybe you want to get a few levels of fortune but don't really don't focus that at all to be honest also after that you want to get key finder and lucky so you can get keys and get op reward you can get op rewards out of the keys that you get out of lucky and key finder also jackhammer is one that you want to go for jackhammer actually now counts this season to your jackhammer actually counts to your level of your mind this season so if you break a whole layer with jackhammer each and every block counts as XP towards the mine. So this is actually the next one I'm going to go for. The server's a little bit laggy right now. Now I'm just going to get 300 levels of this. Now, this is my pickaxe right now. They actually redid the pickaxe look, so it looks a lot better and cleaner in my opinion. They're not all clunky. It looks very clean. My jackhammer level is almost 1,000 right now. So let's mine for a second and see if jackhammer can go up real quick. I'm actually going to reset my mine real quick. Okay, there we reset my mine. I thought it would be bigger, but it's not any bigger. I think at, at, at every few levels of your new rank, the mine gets bigger, I think, like every five or ten levels or something like that. Also, the max level is 1,000, so I feel like the level 1,000 mine would be gigantic. So yes, getting a jackhammer also gets the higher level mine, because each block, each block broken by jackhammer counts as XP broken, as if you were just gonna break one. So jackhammer is very OP to get high level mine. I've seen people with like level 200 mines already, even though the world just started. Right now, my mine's only level 66. Actually, it's 67 now. Also, I can do slash armor. They added a bunch of new armor, which is really cool. They added OP armor. There's so many different armors now, though. I think OP armor is after you get every single armor maxed out, which is literally going to take so long. For now, though, I'm probably going to go crystal armor so I can get all the other armors. Oh, uh -huh, look what mine level I am now. That's funny. Okay, so this is actually one of the bigger mines. This is Niller's mine. I think this is level like around 200 and it's a gigantic mine. Actually, I don't know exactly what level it is, but it's a lot better than my mine, to be honest. But if I mine in this mine, it won't count to leveling up my mine. It only levels up his mine. So if you mine at someone else's mine, it helps level their mine up. And if it's bigger than yours, it'll give you more tokens, but it won't make your mine bigger. So I kind of like this new, so I kind of like this because it makes like, it makes it so you can't go in someone else's mine and be like OP. So you kind of have to progress yourself as well. I'm just going to go ahead and actually go back to my mine because i kind of want to get a higher level mine also usually the first enchants that i go for i try to go to for i try to go for booster and second hand i think second hand and booster are the two best ones because booster literally doubles your pickaxe xp token and money while mining and then second hand also like does like a virtual block when it like it doubles your mining like it actually doubles your mining so if you like mine the blocks there would be a chance to mine a second block virtually so that's a very op enchant as well 
Also, pretty much how the ranks work, the ranks go all the way up to a thousand. The higher rank you are, the higher rank you are, the bigger your mine gets. To get a higher rank, you actually have to mine more blocks. It only counts if you're mining in your own mine. If you mine in someone else's mine, you don't get XP for your own mine. But if someone else is mining in your mine, then it helps you actually. So it'd be very OP if you got like five different people mining your mine. It would make your mine a lot bigger very fastly. Also, I'm going to open some of these pouches to show what these give you. So if I just open these real quick, I just got 80 billion from that one, 150 billion from that one. So it gives you anywhere from like 80 billion to, or like from like 70 billion to like even up to 140 billion. The highest one I got was 140 billion actually. And then from each one of the tier ones, you get a uh, 2000 gems from tier one ones. So I'm gonna redeem these ones too as well. Got hundreds of billion tokens for free just from those pouches. As well as I got some free gems as well. Now I'm probably just going to save up until I get a level 45 pickaxe. And I'm going to spend the rest on token merchant after that. Because token merchant is a very good pick. Token merchant is a very good pick enchant. Because it actually works with jackhammer. And it gives you a lot of tokens as well. So that will probably be one of the next ones I go for. Obviously I feel like you want to get a few levels of crystal finder. Just so you can start getting that armor maxed out as well. And with the armor there's a ton of different armors. There's token armor, crystal armor, prestige armor, gem armor, and cute armor. Also there's OP armor. Which there's actually different armors for OP armor. I don't really get how this works but there's an amethyst set i think maybe they're like 5,000 per, per each piece of armor i honestly don't get how these op armor sets i honestly don't get how these op armor sets go i don't know how you get these op armor sets there's a treasures okay so for this one you have to have max crystal armor and prestige armor as well so if you have max i think if you have max crystal and max prestige armor you can get this but i'm not 100 sure so don't quote me on that because i honestly don't know because this is all new to me as well also want to mention a few more different things first thing is that this server is going to be better at compatible very 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 soon i think it's in like one week like one week or so something like you said very soon after the release it'll be bedrock also there's two new game modes coming out very soon i don't know the dates of these game modes but i will be recording them whenever they come out i'll be recording these new game modes so redeem space derby merlock free loot crates and goodbye thanks for watching